I would say when the idea of a COVID vaccine started to come out, a lot of what we saw were just the rumors and questions about the impact for folks who were looking to start a family. And being in our 30s, we're interested in starting a family, if not in the immediate term, um, certainly uh, something that's of interest to us. You know, we just, we wanted to feel at ease with the, with the decision. So we are expecting. We are. <laughs> September 2021. It's been fun celebrating something nice and positive, and we've really been able to bring smiles to a lot of people's faces. Understanding that pregnant women are at such higher risk for a bad outcome with COVID, that was what kept sticking out in our minds as we were thinking about the costs and benefits. And that was the part that scared us the most. We heard stories about perfectly healthy people having these terrible outcomes, life-changing outcomes, and, and the fact that when you're pregnant it makes you that much more susceptible, um, it just was a no-brainer. There's a lot of false information out there and it can be really confusing. I think at every OB appointment they tell me, don't look it up. Don't Google it, just ask us. Because of all of those sites and information out there that's just not found in research. As time has gone on more and more, people are supporting pregnant women getting the vaccine. We've seen a few different providers in, in uh, the first 20 weeks and every single one has given us more and more confidence in the choice we made. She's running five miles every oh. Saturday, and we went for a bike ride this weekend, and she's lifting weights and doing pretty much everything she did before she was pregnant, so she's a trooper. Maybe just a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone who can, or maybe the people who are on the fence, would just consider getting that vaccine, because it's protecting all of us, so we can get to that herd immunity. I just think about everything we haven't been able to do this year that we love. I mean, Jana and I have been all over the world. We love to travel. We've barely seen our families. My sister's wedding had to, you know, is is pushed back to next year. I, you think about all these life events that that we've missed. You know, now that we're expecting, we we want our families to be part of the baby's life, and that, that's extremely important to us. And in a world where people aren't vaccinated and that we're all more at risk for COVID, that, just, that all just becomes so much more difficult. I want everybody to be able to come and meet the baby in person. We want our, our child to be able to see the world and to have the opportunities that, that we had um, and to be able to go on vacation and to be able to be around people and to just live, live the life that we lived when we were kids. You know, that's all we can hope for. And I just think as we continue to see more vaccination, that's, it's only gonna become that much closer to being a reality. I can't imagine if we didn't have a vaccine right now, and I think that's ultimately giving me peace of mind in the unknown and uncertainty.